All right. Uh, let's look at these rational inequalities. So this is uh, there's a rational functions for the left hand side and also the right hand side. So they are both also a rational function. As you as, as I want to remind you again that if you want to solve a rational inequality, you must make sure either one of the side is zero. Usually I would say make sure the right side, right hand side to be zero. So in this case, uh, you cannot cross multiply. That is the second thing. First, you must make sure one side is zero and you cannot do cross multiplication. All right. Very wrong because you, you don't know the sign of x minus 3 because x can be 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. It can be negative. You need to reverse, right? Uh, so now you don't know the, whether they are positive or negative. You don't do cross multiply except if this is an equation. So I remind again, first thing, you must make sure one side is 0 before you use the table of sign. And second, don't do cross multiplication. So the only one way that you can do will be you bring either one of the uh, either this go to the side or you bring this rational function go to the other side positive you become minus uh, x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 right which less than 0 so this is the way you start to solve this type of uh, rational inequality so now you have two different uh, you have different denominator right you have different denominator so now if this happen so you have to equate the denominator all right you have to equate the denominator so how very simple so you multiply uh, x minus 1 with x minus 2 right because this one you have to multiply with x minus 2 so numerator and denominator you multiply with x minus 2 so and for this x minus 4 you multiply with x minus 3 right this one you have to multiply x minus 3 multiply x minus 3 so now everything divided by x minus 3 x minus 2 less than 0 right uh, now you have already made one side become 0 right uh, this is the situation you have already made one side become 0 so <coughs> So you have to simplify this. Uh, so x x x to the power of two, negative two x, negative two x, negative x. You have negative three x, right? Negative two x, negative one x. You have negative three x and positive two uh, minus with x to the power of two. All right, x to the power of two, negative three x, negative four x. All right, x square, negative 3x, negative 4x, you have negative 7x plus with 4, 3, 12. All right, so step by step. So you have, don't expand this because you're going to use this uh, because it already have linear factor, right? To draw the, uh, to use the table of sign. x square minus with x power of 2, x power of 2 minus with x power of 2, zero right there are no more uh, x to the power 2 on top so negative 3x plus 7 negative 3x negative negative positive so you will have 4x right negative 3 plus 7 you have 4x so 2 minus plus so negative positive have negative 2 minus 12 so 2 minus 12 you have negative 10 right uh, then you have uh, x minus 3, x minus 2. Now, everything already become a linear factor, right? Can you see that? Uh, a linear factor. So, uh, now it's considered safe. First, this side already becomes 0. And the coefficient for x all is positive, right? 1, 1, this is positive. So, there are no more problem that you should uh, modify. Now, you can start using your table of sign. So uh, you have to identify the critical point. So the critical point here will be 4x minus 10 equals to 0. You will have 5 over 2, right? You have 5 over 2 as one of the critical point. So this one also you have 3 and you have 2, right? So if you uh, draw out the number line, you will have uh, 2. The list is 2 followed by 5 over 2, right? Uh, 
502, 1002, 1004 is 502. So, and three, right? And three. So you have four region, all right? You have one, two, three, and four region. So now it's time for you to do the uh, table of sign. So, <coughs> So here you need four columns, one, two, three, four, because they are four regions, right? So now, then the first one you have 4x minus 10, all right? 4x minus 10, uh, 4x minus 10, uh, x minus 3, x minus 2, and the conclusion, 4x minus 10 divided by x minus 3, x minus 2. Alright, so, okay. Now you put all the value, the critical value from the list is 2, 5 over 2. Alright, 5 over 2 and uh, 3. Right, so now you're going to decide. So look at 3. Right, 2, 5 over 2. So 4x minus 10. If you equals to 0, you get 5 over 2, right? Uh, this is belong to this. So this column is all about this row is about this number and this, right? So means any, any number after 5 over 2 will be positive. Before will be negative. Uh, 3 came from x minus 3. So we look at this line, right? So after this line, it will be positive. There will be negative, right? And x minus 2. Uh, 2, this line, right? This line. So x minus 2 and 2. So we look at this row. So after this line, all will be positive and this will be negative. Alright? So now you can uh, you divide, right? 3. You just assume to be multiplied. Negative, negative. You multiply both negative, you get positive. Positive, multiply negative, you have negative. This one, negative, multiply negative, you get positive, 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 positive. And the positive multiply negative, you get negative, negative, positive, negative. This one for sure is positive. Uh, now you have to decide whether this is your conclusion and which region for you to choose. So, all right, we look at this. After I'm modifying, this is the one that I'm using. After this, I start to drawing this uh, table of sign, right? So this is the one that I need to refer. So less than zero, negative region. Uh, this is the two region that I must uh, consider. I must choose these two region. So which is? Uh, x, right, 2, there are no number here, means less than 2, right, x less than 2, or, uh, this is in between, right, between 5 over 2, between 5 over 2 and 3, right, between 5 over 2 and 3, so for this case, there are no equal sign, so you don't need to think about, uh, even here, here you know that uh, you cannot take x equals to 3, right? You also cannot take x equals to 2. But since there are no equal sign here, so there are no equal sign here. So you don't need to think about the, the uh, you should omit anything. So you just accept this as your solution, right? Uh, this is your solution for this problem. So, or you can write interval form. Interval form is a negative infinity up to 2 union, 5 over 2, 3. Open. So this will be your solution for these rational inequalities. So I hope you understand the trick of building the, uh, the table of sign and the condition that you must follow. All right? One side must be zero and the coefficient of x all must be positive. All right? Okay, that's all for this video.